I was going to hell because I was gay. My mother and my father would physically abuse me or punish me in some type of way. They tried to send me to a psychologist. You're not going to make it into the kingdom of heaven um, because you're gay. You're, you're going to burn in hell. All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. And third, it is accepted as being self-evident. Most people under 40 have no problem with homosexuality. That means in 10 years, nobody under 50 will have a problem. That means in 20 years, nobody under 60 will have a problem. And after a while, nobody's going to have a problem. And when you have a problem, it's going to be an aberration. Without question in my mind, God intended for folks to be gay, lesbian, bisexual. I never intended to make a film about homosexuality and religion. This is how it all began. God is inside of me. I think that God is inside of you. I think God that is in each one of us. And my God inside of me is good with me being gay. As far as we can tell today, homosexual inclination is no more unnatural than to be left-handed or to be born with red hair. Jesus just went around restoring people to community and we're throwing people out of community. The only thing that's unhealthy about homosexuality is that we have condemned it for so long. He was not a moralist. Jesus was concerned about the everyday lives of people and about justice. Jesus is always on the side of whoever the victim of prejudice is. And I think Jesus really cares about our hearts. He doesn't care about our sexuality. The truth becomes self-evident that no fish was created to live out of water. Fifty years from now, this big hoopla over gay-lesbian relations in the church will be something of the past.